the baby off to the babysitter and, and got out there with her partner and dad in the channel watching and here's Bethany now well a strong turn to get this ride started this way it's starting to fade away though so we're not going to see a restart so Bethany gets a slight advantage over her rivals there as you mentioned just the, the the challenges physically for Bethany amazing one-handed duck dives try and do that at home Let's so strong. A reef break. It is amazing, to Ronnie, how strong she is in that right arm. And you can see she, out of any surfer, you'll see on a professional tour how much she uses her feet to propel herself back out to the lineup. It really is, uh, you know, it helps her get back out there with all that speed. Uh, because, you know, if you're just kind of cruising, paddling with one, one arm, uh, it can take a long time. And these waves are super long. So she's kicking like crazy to, you know, pick that speed up, obviously. One of the most famous surfers on the planet back in 2004. Her autobiography was released, Soul Surfer. In 2011, it was turned into a major motion picture. And here is the replay of that first wave, that, that great combination of tube rider and, and maneuvers being executed by the Hawaiian. Yeah, pretty nice snap right there. You can see right here, she sizes up the barrel, tucks in for a little shade. And I like this snap. She gets a great amount of torque out of it. And you know, those snaps on your forehand, it's easy to get kind of lulled into those roundhouses. The judges don't like it, but if you can create some torque out of it where you just break the fins a little bit, push down on that back foot just a little harder, it does make it look exciting. She managed to do that with that first snap.